Welcome to How to Research Technology here at We Play Games. I'm Walker, and we're in the Victoria 3 Academy. And this is this is going to be a really important one. This is describing, rather than which technologies are important, which is what the Critical Technology series is about, this is really just about how to understand how to quickly research things. Um, in terms of which technologies are good, that this video would take way too long. Uh, but how you do research actually is, is pretty straightforward. So every research is going to have a cost associated with it. That cost, which is gonna be down here, is gonna be partially described by how many technologies in the same category, but of a lower level that you have. Um, so we actually can show you that right here on the Wiki Wiki, uh, the technology cost, it'll actually just tell you that the technology cost, it's going to decrease the more things that you have researched, right? So technology kind of pays, technology gets you more technology in a, in a sense. Um, and so you can tech very, very quickly that way um, by ensuring that you, that you stay ahead uh, by researching all of the older things. You can research the, the, the newer things faster. But how do you pay for these costs that are gonna be decreasing? Um, well, you do it with weekly innovation and with tech spread. So weekly innovation is a an active resource. It's what the government is, is trying to encourage all of the intellectuals or scientists or whatever in the country to work towards. And so you're gonna get those points and you're gonna add them per week to fill up this bar to meet that cost. And then you're also gonna get this little tech spread bonus. The tech spread is a passive um, expression of technology, and it's it does require that there be someone who knows the technology to spread it to you, right? You can't get tech spread on something that nobody knows. Uh, but in the event that there is someone in the world who has a technology that you don't, um, you'll get this nice little passive bonus. So. There are a lot of different ways that you as the the state or as the magical force controlling the state can modify the way that you do research. Um, I think the easiest way to, to make it so you can do research faster is to just do a bunch of it, um, in which, at which case you need to understand where your innovation and your tech spread are coming from. So innovation, there's this base value, which is plus 50, but then you also get, um, the innovation from your universities. So up, up to your innovation cap, you can build universities without fear of, of how they're going to in increase your technology. Because um, it's just going to let you get more, more directed points per week towards researching things. So right now we're at 71 to 170. Um, we can do fast build, fast hire, and then just go into St. Petersburg and add a level five university, done. Um, and so what that'll do, once it, it's actually hired the pops for it, uh, da -da -da. yeah, there it is innovation um and but you see how it's, it, it does actually give us a throughput bonus that's important to, no, to note the base that you get um the base 50 that's very very powerful and will go a long way to get you getting you a lot of research um when you can't afford to have a bunch of universities but once you can they they are regular buildings right they're regular buildings and they're not just any regular buildings they're regular buildings that employ special pop types depending on on what kind of laws you have in in place you're always going to get academics out of it and you might get clergymen um and that's that can be very helpful same with getting laborers and clerks all of these things can be very very helpful in terms of their outcome on your uh, your your interest groups so don't sleep on building universities but even once you've built up to this cap here um which you can see that you can modify this cap uh, by modifying your literacy rate. And so the mo you need to understand how to modify your literacy rate in order to, to modify your research, right? Um, so when you're modifying your literacy rate, it's coming from your education. Your education access is gonna come from a couple of different things. It's gonna come from your laws in your country, right? Um, some countries are gonna start with no schools. Some countries are a little luckier and start with public schools. Some start with religious schools, but those, those things are going to themselves add education access and therefore literacy into your country. And therefore they're gonna raise the, uh, the innovation cap that we can get to, right? So here 
we can get to 101 innovation simply because we have so much more literacy as as uh, Austria Hungary. Or even here, oh my God, like the the British of course can get up to 140 so you can get a lot more targeted innovation and therefore can research like really cutting edge techs a lot faster if you happen to have a higher uh, literacy rate so always always try to work on your literacy rate in regards to to doing your research get an education institution get your people wealthy Try to make sure that they are not being discriminated against because all of those things are going to restrict your education access. Um, and then from there, the the basic technology should be your oyster. But if you're behind on technology, or for that matter, if you want to keep um, your tech spread spreading on like the most cutting edge thing possible, then you want to maximize your tax your your tech spread. And you should know that if you have excess innovation then it's going to go towards this tech spread. So it's not like you're really ever wasting points unless you just like aren't researching anything new and aren't getting any tech spread, in which case I hope you've finished the entire tech tree because otherwise why, why are you wasting your innovation? Um, but tech spread is very helpful. Tech spread is very, very helpful. Um, and you do get a basic amount from your literacy, which also is described mathematically here. Um, the tech spread formula is available. The innovation cap is available. Research speed. All of these things are available on the Wiki Wiki. So I, I encourage you, if you have any questions, to just check it out. It's very, very helpful. Um, but the tech spread... It, initially, you're going to get a lot of it from literacy, but depending on the size and scale of the country in question, you can actually get tons of it from spillover innovation like I did with the uh, the Ottoman Empire. I just like built an outrageous, oh, I'm not going to load it in this because it'll it'll corrupt the save file, but I just built an, an outrageous amount of uh, universities. And when you build just an outrageous amount of universities, then it goes, it does give you something in, in exchange. It gets you tons of tech spread, and that means you're going to research everything really, really quickly. And so what that's telling you is that because this unspent innovation is going into tech spread on three different things, it's actually pretty efficient. So overbuilding universities is something that you should not be afraid of if you're trying to like catch up on, on technology. Um, education access, you can modify with like decrees and stuff, but I, I really do think the easiest way to modify education access is just be wealthy and then um, make sure that people have access to an education institution because that's, that is what, well, that is what these these things do. Oh, thank you. Education access for all pops. Yep. Thank you. That's that's such a wonderful describer. Yep. But yeah, that's that's technology. I think it, it once you get used to what what why technology is so important, you'll understand why this is a standalone video cuz you really you cannot neglect uh technology in Victoria 3. And in fact, if you can push uh through lots of technology, you'll benefit. There are a lot of them that are very good, especially in level 3 and 4. All right, uh, that's Walker, and that is how to research technology. Take care.